This is a Fox News alert. ISIS claiming responsibility for yet another terror attack, this time in Bangladesh. A hostage situation is currently underway. Nine armed men stormed a restaurant popular with foreigners. They were reportedly armed with guns and explosives. Two officers were killed by the attackers. And of course, the world is on high alert following the attacks in Turkey. This incident, another soft target. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge is here with the very latest. Catherine? Well, thank you, Kimberly. As you mentioned this afternoon, a claim of responsibility from ISIS posted by the terror group's media organization, the Amak News Agency. The claim says ISIS commandos are responsible for the attack at the restaurant at Dhaka at Bangladesh. Eyewitnesses report the gunmen shouting Alu Akbar, which translates as God is great, as they took more than 30 people hostage with guns and explosives at a bakery in the diplomatic district of Dhaka. At this hour, SWAT teams are preparing to move in on the restaurant. Earlier, the State Department spokesman said the Americans who live there are accounted for, but the situation is highly fluid. We have 100% accountability for American citizens that are working under the chief of mission authority. And we are continuing to work on uh, uh, the account uh, accountability of others, and we're continuing to stay in touch with Bangladeshi authorities. Since early 2015, the Islamic State has really upped the tempo of attacks in Bangladesh from targeted assassinations of business and religious leaders to places of worship. Taking over a restaurant, though, is a real departure. They are engaged in a fight for supremacy with the al-Qaeda affiliate in Bangladesh. And in the recent ISIS online magazine, there's an interview with the group's leader there. So given the media attention the group is getting now and the scale of today's attack and this quick claim of responsibility, analysts say it shows you that this region is now a high priority priority for ISIS in Iraq and Syria. Kimberly. All right. Thank you so much, Catherine.